Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video we'll be unboxing and reviewing a pair of RGB strips. Oh my gosh. What the heck? That's that's actually really cool. I wasn't expecting that. And a handwritten letter. Dude, that's amazing. That's the first time I've ever gotten sent something. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and read this real quick. All right, that is just amazing. I'm definitely going to be able to frame this. This is the first thing I've ever gotten. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's check out their products. For less than $25, which is really cool because this is a 32 foot strip, which if you guys know, 32 foot strips on Amazon cost anywhere from $30 and up. So this is a really well priced item. Oh, and these are specifically branded too. So you have the IR receiver, which actually the cables feel a lot better than other ones. And I like that it's split ended instead of one because if it was one, it would be low lighting. And the IR receiver looks upgraded too. That's nice. I have a AC adapter, a power cord, some mounting clips and screws. Oh, it comes with a battery. That's pretty cool. I think it's for the remote pull tab. Let's see if there's a battery in here already. There is a battery in here already. So it comes with an extra battery, really unique. We have a instruction guide with very clear instructions as well. I'll be showing you how to set them up in this video as well. And then you have a thank you card. Here are the RGB strips. So here are the RGB strips. They look really good. These are the non-waterproof versions. And they look really good. We're going to set one of them up real quick. And then we're going to show you what they look like. Alright, so set these up. I'm not, I know a lot of people are going to have questions about that. You're going to take the power cord. You're going to take the other end. Plug it into the AC adapter. Then you're going to take the other end of the AC adapter and plug it into the IR receiver, which is a white box. Should be a little circle right there. You see there's arrows right here. Make sure, before you plug it in, make sure it's arrow to arrow. So, on the on one of the end of the strips, you're going to go ahead and make sure it's arrow to arrow. Something like that. Arrow to arrow. If it's like, if it's the other way around, like this, then it's wrong. If you have it powered on and it's plugged in like this, you could break the whole strips. So make sure it is like this, arrow to arrow. All right, so let's go ahead and plug these in. There we go. Nice. Has a really good R effect to it. I like that. Go ahead and grab your remote and you're able to change the colors. These look nice. The red, the red is like a super, super nice red. Oh, and by the way, this remote is glossy. So this is a other type of brand and then this is their brand, the ones in this video. And I like the remote a lot because Look, just look at the difference. And it feels better than this one. The 40 other for the 40. Than the other 44 key remote. But other than that, this, you have nice colors here. Green, light blue, teal, blue, or yeah, blue. Purple, and then some magentas, and then you have some other colors on the side. You also have white, and then you can adjust the brightness here, and these are pretty bright. I bet with two of them, they would definitely be really good. For twenty less than 25 bucks, 
the price may vary so I definitely recommend you check it in the description because it could be on sale, it could be more, it could be less, you just have to check the link in the description. Uh, but there's also other buttons, you have jump 3 and fade, which jump 3 will change from 3 different colors, so red, green, and blue. And then you can change the speed of it, so you can do it more slow, more quick. And then jump is all 7 colors, like red, green, blue, and all that. And then fade 7. Which Fade 7 is basically a mixture of all the colors, and I like this type of style. It's still pretty good. Definitely a really good pair of RGB strips. AC adapter didn't get hot. Usually, some AC adapters get extremely hot after the first like five minutes of being plugged in. These ones aren't hot. This one is a 100 to 240 volt input at 50 to 60 hertz, and it outputs 12 volts, 5 amps. So we're gonna go ahead and set these up, and I'll see you guys in a few. So I'm a bit of an expert when it comes to hanging RGB strips, so I recommend using rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth to wipe down the area first. And then to hang them, I recommend also to take a little bit of the sticky off and then apply it and then continue to take it off and then apply more. Uh, this ensures that none of the RGB stickiness on the back will get uh, like dust and stuff when hanging them. And also this has a 3M adhesive on the back which is really cool. It's really unique. Not a lot of them have them. Uh, and once again make sure you have it arrow to arrow and you'll be good to go. So I finished setting the first ones up and as you can see they're really good and they look really nice. Nice and vibrant colors here. They look really good. I didn't know where to put these but I figured out after about an hour where I wanted to put them and I put them here. They look amazing overall, and I think it just makes your living room, your room a lot nicer, a lot vibrant. They're less expensive than your home bulbs, definitely a lot less expensive. They're only like 50 cents a year for energy cost, or less than that. It's just crazy good, and they look so nice. And even though that I got this sent to me, it's a non-biased review. These are amazing, and even with the note and everything. If you want to pick these up for yourself, a link is in the description like always, so go ahead and check them out, and I'll see you guys in the next.